tell you, it's good to be back. You know, you're older, you're wiser, and uh, you've grown up a little bit, but more than anything else, I'm happy to be with you today, and uh, look forward to working with you this season. Uh, here's what I do now. I'm looking at uh, the people in attendance to uh, the Commodore Nation. I know last year was a little bit of a disruptive uh, road that we were on, and uh, this football team has done a, does a tremendous job uh, with moving forward. And what that looks like for us is this. I know it's disappointing, the season we had a year ago, but that's a common. It's a common, okay, and not a period. And this football team uh, has definitely done the things that we need to do in order to uh, get ourselves back on track and be exactly where we want to be. Our program has made uh, great strides in the last eight months since that uh, Tennessee finale. This football team uh, is equipped and has worked towards the challenge of being a better team. And when I look at that, I understand some things about us. We needed to make some changes. So those changes, uh, whether they were staff or structure or team concept, had more to do with uh, us not being right than us getting it right. And with the help of David Williams and Chancellor Zeppos, uh, we were able to set about a path of making sure that uh, Vanderbilt football uh, can move towards uh, progress. And that's exactly what we're doing. I want to let you know, too, that uh, we've done a great job uh, on our campus on the West End of moving towards uh, reinventing ourselves, moving towards progress. And what that looks like is trying to ensure a future for our student athletes of having success both on and off the field. Uh, it's important, it's what we strive for, and it's not one dimensional. Okay? You've got to think about the things that matter. And looking at our identity, this football team is a much different football team than it was a year ago. Uh, the biggest component that I felt, I felt like we fell short in watching our games was uh, being competitive and what that looked like. We won a very competitive football team in 2014, and that's on me. I take full responsibility. But in knowing uh, that this football team will compete, uh, we sort of put a or set about what we call the ITI -T factor on the West End, and that's making sure that we're relentless, we're tough, and we're intelligent. Now, I'll speak a little bit on that, and then I'll move on. When I talk about relentless, I talk about uh, being a team that plays four quarters, 60 minutes every play. It's got to be that. Okay, that's got to be, that's got to be our common part. When I talk about tough, you talk about the mindset. James Dobson, our champion district coach, has changed our physique. We look like an SEC football team, but that's got to manifest itself in our, our mindset and how we play. And then last, uh, we talk about intelligence. And people make the assumption, because we sit on the West End, okay, that it's just about uh, being smart, but it's not. That's a, that's a state of mind. That's what we have to do in this game to be better players. And so when you look at turnovers, when you look at uh, penalties, when you look at uh, this football team's inability to be effective, uh, third down efficiency on both sides of the ball and in the red zone, that's football IQ. So we worked hard to improve our football intelligence and we believe that we're definitely on the right path. And that's really how, how you know, I see us and that's really how we've been able to identify ourselves moving forward. And looking at uh, my staff, I thought uh, during the off season I was able to make four tremendous uh, acquisitions in staff, the first of which is Andy Lovett. Uh, Andy uh, is one of the brightest and, and really one of the uh, most unique uh, office coordinators in the country. If you look at his track record and where he's been, he's been successful wherever he's been, and he's been able to put uh, his teams uh, and his players in a position to be successful. And that identity piece uh, was sorely missed for us uh, a year ago, and now I think that's been, that's been addressed. Uh, James Dobson, our strength conditioning coach, Hailed from the University of Nebraska, where he spent the last seven seasons before coming to Vanderbilt. And in that, uh, they went to seven consecutive bowl games, and I believe James has been able to bring about a different a swag, energy, understanding of not only what we need to look like, but how we need to play. And that's important. It breeds confidence. 
he challenged these guys every day to be better than the day before. And, and that challenge has extended from the classroom, to the football field, to how these guys see themselves. So we're definitely moving along in that direction. My last two hours, Cortez Hankin, our receivers coach, played in the league. Uh, he's going to be a tremendous I mean, college coach. He's done a great job in his short career at collegiate level, but uh, energy, his ability to teach, and uh, his ability to, to get guys to, to, to play at a, at a higher level like, with some passion uh, is definitely what we push this thing. And the last, last hour is Mark Magnoli, and Mark was my assistant uh, at Stanford University. Uh, Mark and I know each other well, uh, but we speak the same language, and he's been able to make my transition uh, to, to going back to the defensive side easier uh, in terms of our ability to communicate. So I'm excited about Mark. Uh, really, when I look at our, our culture right now, our culture has changed. I think we're a much different football team, like I said, than we were a year ago. Uh, we've been able to uh, uh, have success in the classroom, unparalleled success. Uh, this year, our student athletes achieved the highest GPA in Vanderbilt history, our football player. Okay, and here's what I believe. I believe that you can minimize, if you can minimize the stress, you can maximize the performance, especially at a school like Vanderbilt. So we set about best practices and we're doing just that. Uh, our student athletes, uh, 40 of our student athletes have participated in uh, internships this summer. And you say, why is that important? Well, when you look at trying to develop the, the, the total package, the total student athlete, the ability to you know, have 40 student athletes participate in something that, that extends beyond football and gives them life after football or a chance at uh, a future success beyond football is important, so I'm proud of those guys. And then the last uh, part of what we've been able to do is the two of our student athletes studied abroad, Ralph Webb and another student athlete, Chris Martin, were able to go to Australia and May Nestor. Uh, you see now there are very few athletes that are able to travel across country or you know, travel outside the country, especially as a football player. But both those guys were able to go to Australia, spend about 14 days. Uh, in, a, in a study abroad program, and they've been uh, excited. They did a terrific job, and they were terrific ambassadors of Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt University in terms of what they were able to bring from the states over to Australia. So uh, I'm proud of those young men and what they've been able to do. But in conclusion, our football program is uh, well on its way to doing what we need to do. I'm excited to coach this football team. I'm going to open this thing up to questions. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.